In this movie, I'm going to run you through some of the updates in Machina 2.6, namely some great new editing features that are now available when working in several different modes with Jam. So let's start off with this techno groove that I've just created. So now with group C soloed, which is a percussion group, I'll just switch to step edit mode. We're currently in eight sound step edit, which is a great mode to work in because it allows you to view and edit these steps for eight different sounds simultaneously. Now the only limitation with this mode previously was that you were restricted to just two different velocity values, the default one and an accented one. Now, however, if I press and hold a step, then I can use the encoder in several different modes set with the, the buttons alongside the touch strips here to change the different parameters for that step. So let's say I want to make this one louder. Then what I can do is press and hold it until it flashes. And then making sure level is active down here, if I rotate the encoder, you can see I can adjust the velocity value so I can make it a bit louder. Maybe I'll make this one a little bit quieter. The other action of the encoder in this mode is to adjust the step length, which is when I press and then rotate the encoder. At the moment though, we won't hear anything with this sound, but if I change the envelope to ADSR, so now the step length will make a difference. Now I can shift to the first part of the pattern, press and hold a step so it flashes, and then press and rotate the encoder to make that step a little bit longer. And the last two parameters we can adjust are the pitch and the position, which are controlled when we activate the tune and swing buttons respectively. So let's move back to the last part of the pattern, and then I'll shift this last step a little bit later by pressing the swing button now. So we can now use the encoder to apply some manual shuffle. And finally, I'll make this louder note here higher pitched by pressing and holding, hitting tune, and then rotating the encoder once again. And we can't see that in this step edit mode, but if I switch it to keyboard mode, you can see now how that step is higher in pitch. And you can also now edit the automation, or rather modulation, on a step. So with this bass line now, you can hear if I adjust the cutoff, it creates a cool effect. Obviously I can automate this with the auto button. Which creates a nice smooth curve. But if I want to create a more robotic or jumpy effect, then I can actually set a precise value of the cutoff for each step just by pressing and holding it and then adjusting the parameter, as you can see. So some great new event editing features there.